This, my friends, is the dream. This is dream life. I know I'm just saying the same crap over and over again, but every time I go in a new RV, I just feel more and more enthusiastic and more hopeful and more that this is exactly what we need to be doing. Good morning, YouTube. I'm about to jump in the shower. This hair is gross, greasy as hell, it's stuck to my face. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wash it and I'm gonna let it go outside and I'm gonna let it dry just in the sun. So I'm not gonna scrub my head or anything to make it dry. I just wanna see how curly it is. I haven't done this for a while. This is either gonna be very anticlimactic or the next time you see me, I'm gonna have huge curly hair. Well, I guess it didn't get as curly as I thought it was gonna get. Good afternoon. It's Saturday and we are sending out another package. A mom life and a dad life. If you're jealous, pick one up for your yourself at www.jasonry.com. Hello, sunshine boy. <laughs> Hello, cutie. He just had some mangoes. You had some mangoes, huh? They went over good. You like the mangoes. Mango boy. You are seeing this correct. It is raining in Tucson. The kid hasn't seen rain for the last seven months of his life. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to look at some RVs. Looking at this Ford C-Class. Let's have a look inside. It's a little guy. Yeah. Too little. Possibly. Cabbed up on the top. It says it's 23 foot. Just because this little bed area is small. Inside the second C class. Davies in the back. Still thinking it might be a little bit small though. Yeah. Too small. Nicer though. A lot more open. This one's the Ram. Looking pretty tidy. This one's got a slide. Make it bigger. Yeah, but the bed is. That's the bed up top. Kitchen in the back. Well, at least it feels bigger. That slide does make a difference in this living room. These two slides aren't out, but imagine if they were, this thing is going to be massive. It's a <laughs> walking closet in an RV. This is the bedroom. I'm um, 5 foot 9. Flat screen, bed, slide out. This would be legit. We just have to find something to talk with. You like it? It's like being in the new apartment. <laughs> Wow, wow. For how much? How much a month? Wow. Look at the size of this thing. It's huge. You could have just been converted. Let me show you the back end of the thing. It slides everywhere. It's down the stairs. Come past here. There's a bathroom and shower. And look at this bedroom. This is crazy. This is a motorhome. This is bigger than our apartment was in Seattle. Do you think you could be sold on converting to a fifth wheel or a trailer? Yeah, definitely. All right. As soon as I walked in that first one, I was like, okay, we could definitely raise a family in here. <laughs> Again, another huge fifth wheel. Casey says she likes the tub, the little baby tub, so you can actually take a bath. wouldn't have to keep him as bunks, right? We could just strip the top bunk out so he's got more room. Oh, you'd like it as a bunk? Or leave it, yeah. One could be like his bed or his other could be like a little playroom. I like the bathtub too. I think that's good for children, you know? They'll slide out for the kitchen area. The bedroom, I guess we're definitely going to be getting out one side. No, it's Entertainment center. It's, it's not like it's open, is it? Yeah, I hate when I find a nice house and it's like 55 plus. I'm like, no. That's, that's the type of places we want to live. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Class is legit, 38 foot, three slides, very nice. So this is the big boy we were just looking at. It's pretty nice. What makes it nice is the uh, double slides on this side and there's a slide on the other side. So it makes the living room really, really spacious, which is, you know, what we're looking for when we travel space.
Look at this thing. I tell you what, we're living this life. I don't care what it takes. I promise you from this point, we are getting the RV life sooner rather than later. Who wants to spend all the money on rent and having to work just to pay them bills when we could pay the guys down us 350 bucks a month to have one of these things and travel the whole entire time. Get rid of the bills that we currently got, pay for this thing on a monthly basis and hit the road, go surfing every day, man. This whole trip has been mind blown. I'm so excited for this. RV life, 100% the benefits of joining the RV community. Whoa. This, my friends, is the dream. This is dream life. I know I'm just saying the same crap over and over again, but every time I go in a new RV, I just feel more and more enthusiastic and more hopeful and more that this is exactly what we need to be doing. Dream life, hashtag dream life. Shout out to La Mesa RV as well, because the guys that we spoke with were really cool dudes, really interested in mine and Casey's life as well, so. Good job, La Mesa. You hire some dope people. Agreed. Alrighty, it's that time. We are signing off the vlog because it's time for us to go to bed. <laughs> he just woke up from a nap, so he's like, what? I was just in bed. But I'm gonna get ready for bed, so next time that he's ready, hopefully in half an hour, maybe an hour, it'll be our bedtime. So we're gonna sign off now and spend the rest of the evening together. He's so happy, all. You're so cute. Oh, you being cuddly? If you liked it, thumbs up. If you want to see more, press subscribe. And we'll see you tomorrow. Don't forget if you want a poop monster onesie. They're on sale right now. Go check it out. You've been so cuddly right now. Ciao. Freezing. It's cold? Yeah. What are you putting in right now? It's cold. I don't know why this always... What is that? Burger ingredient. Is that wine? You're putting wine in burgers? Drunk burgers? Because I, t I don't drink. I'm not eating any of them. Back up, Jack. No, it's not even zoomed. Get out of there. No, it's not weird, Kirst. Just, sh just show the cameras. No. Come on. No. I'll do it. Let me show them. <laughs> no. Come on.